All right, step one is open up a web browser and go to the link I provided in the description below. Uh, you're gonna come to Prime 07's GitHub page. Um, and he has a nice little guide here that walks you through the whole process. And I'm just gonna go through his guide um, and show you what I did to undervolt my 5800X3D. The main goal of undervolting is to get cooler temps and higher speeds that are maintained longer. Um, and there's a link for a tool here that will help you do that very easily with the click of just a few buttons. So um, we're going to go down to number four. Click the link for debug CLI 7 zip file. Click the link from the overclocker.net thread. Download the file. I already have it um, extracted here. The next step is to download hardware info. So you'll want to get something like OCCT or Cinebench to um, push your CPU to about 100% utilization. And then that way uh, you can get a nominal you know, a reading on the temps and um, frequencies you're hitting before you make any changes. Um, so I'm going to do that here and then run a stress test for a few minutes at, um, at, on stock settings and then I'm going to change the offset in PBO2 and then run another test and then I'm going to compare statistics and um, share results with you. Alright, so I've got OCCT open, HW info, PBO2 tuner, and I'm going to go ahead and run a stress test on stock settings. Once the test starts, I'm going to reset the values in HW info and start a log file for the duration of the test. Okay, so here are the number of comparisons. Uh, to sum it up, the voltages are lower, the temperatures are cooler, and the average and overall clock speeds are higher. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.